Cool. So in, in February of this year, we collected some of the uh, oysters that were in uh, breeding condition from flying foam and we transported them to Albany and the Albany hatchery uh, basically was able to get them to spawn and produced about half a million baby oysters. Not even six months and those oysters are now at four millimetres and they're going back into their home and hopefully within about 12 months we'll have a product that'll be uh, ready for market. And hopefully they will grow really well here. I'm pretty confident that they'll grow well. Um, but the proof is in the pudding and we've got to trial different things. We really want to be market focused before we even start. We know what we want to grow. We want to grow a nice cupped oyster that's deep, got a lot of meat in it. And what we've got to do is find the right equipment, the right uh, environment and uh, to get that product to market. So it's a fantastic opportunity, I think, for Maroojuga to, to, to um, make itself sustainable long term, both for our, our staff and our members. Um, our rangers in particular, um, they're heavily involved with our oyster spats and we're hoping this will give them opportunities um, moving forward in terms of their land conservation training. Uh, this could also give them a, a foot in the door to also move forward with their marine uh, conservation. So it's quite exciting for them. Yeah, our rangers um, are already um, in the stages of um, training for their cox tickets. So being able to skip our topaz, uh, having the 120,000 out there, um, I guess they're our babies. So we're waiting now just to watch them grow and take to the waters out in Mirajuga. Well, what don't we know about oysters? We don't know how they fast they grow in the Pilbara. Uh, we don't know what species we have. So that began a discussion around a number of partners about how we might form a partnership. Out of that sprung the Murujuga Aboriginal Corporation, the Maxima Pearling Company, City of Karatha, Fisheries Research and Development Corporation out of Canberra and the Commission got together, brought funding together and brought the, the people together to form up this project. So our role in, in this development of the oyster farm is going to be, we're going to be looking after the, the farm and making sure everything's all good and making sure it goes all smoothly. We also, with this marine uh, development of the oyster farm now, it's going to boost my coxswains up. So we just finished our coxswains ticket. Get down here, Michael. Oh, that's right, that's normal. That's normal around here. So I'll be able to be on the vessel and make sure everyone's all right, all the dangers and safety of the vessel. So, so they've been in the water for about three months. And aquaculture has been identified as an economic diversification uh, sector. And so this trial uh, is a chance to see if, if, it's, uh, if it's all going to work. Uh, and uh, assuming that it does, and we're, we're certainly hopeful that it does, it could mean a $30 million a year industry. It's going to be a new era, a new phase for not only um, like specifically Murujuga, but the five language groups that are attached to the um, BIMIA agreement. It's a new phase and a new era from a business perspective, so we would like to be around to celebrate successes from this business.